Donald Trump uh, last week dropped uh, several F-bombs. Even Glenn Beck called him out as unpresidential. Um, <laughs> what are your thoughts on his future in politics? He has no future in politics. He's a buffoon. He's a political sociopath. I'm right to life. I'm pro-choice. One of the many issues on which he's going to founder is the Supreme Court had a decision about four years ago, the Kelo decision, where it said you can take private property and give it to a private developer if he will pay more taxes to the city government that's taking the property. Conservatives loathe that decision. States all over the country have moved to correct it. Donald Trump likes that decision, being a developer and a, a fundamentally parasitic buccaneer off government decisions, and therefore it's just one of the many rocks on which his ship will cry. He doesn't want to be completely treated like a joke, and that's what happened last but night. But his ratings are going to go up. Ratings of what? By whom and for what? I mean, I don't know what the, I don't know what the cash value, as it were, of what he's achieving here is. He is, in fact, going to come out of this looking like what he is, an overweight, undereducated, silly man. Did you think differently of him beforehand? No. See? So he hasn't lost. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, except now that 310 million Americans are going to come to the same conclusion. We elect military men periodically. Washington, Grant, Eisenhower. But usually they've won big wars, and Petraeus hasn't won big wars, and I think his uh, political viability is one small cut above Trump's.